would like to start my uh, artist talk by showing one sequence out of seven from the video piece special announcements uh, that is a part of the exhibition. You can see the whole piece there. Uh, the one sequence I want to start off with is called Doomsday and it's two minutes long. solitary, using my own body, uh, directing myself, writing the scripts myself, and I am the actor performing them. In my ongoing project, Special Announcements, started in 2006, one can follow a clear development and a chronology in the framing of the character and the stories. The building of a character is a time-consuming work and can, in my case, go on for years. My characters are built on different dramaturgic rules, and the development of my artistic practice takes place in real time, involving my bodily aging and the aging of my face. It is important to know that I am not a trained actress, this is important for the artistic process and for myself. That gives the project another dimension. It becomes a bit distorted and it becomes interesting while investigating credibility. In order to achieve a personal contact with the audience, a choreography as well as a vocal delivery are expressed down to each detail. The project uh, special announcements, where this special announcements video is one part, deals a lot with the subject of language. My focus is on the process of using speech and how the words are vocally delivered. The matter of language is thoroughly investigated it is an invitation to create a dialogue with the viewer and the lack of body language, eye contact and gestures are conscious choices that I have deliberately set up in order to make the process harder and in order to challenge myself. The videos are all recorded in one take, that is there are no cuts. Um, I'm interested in the performance of words, the role of language in relation to its meaning, as in theater training methods. And an important part is also the use of a lot of repetition and pausing. Uh, language used as power is something that I'm working with a lot. Using a, a head, as I do here in Special announcements, talking to the camera, I am investigating the format of the truth teller, inspired by cult leaders and leaders in general, mani manipulating their viewers into certain beliefs. It can remind of propaganda, a one-sided argumentation of certain, for certain ideas, that in an emotional way turns to a large audience, as in a mass meeting. I am inspired by existential questions and recent events concerning cult, political and religious leaders and the roots of madness of mankind in general. My narrative develops in relation to mankind's stupidity and evil. In all of my art practice, the mission is to directly or indirectly to question authorities and the shaping of power. This I have done in different ways over the last 10 years. I have a background in photography and before special announcements started, I have been working on another project, which I briefly have to mention here, 
called Dana Aid, where I use myself as the character of a doctor slash nurse. This project consists of photographic series, videos and live performance. And it was here the interest of using a power symbolic person began. The stylized character of this doctor nurse person has nothing to do with healthcare, but nonetheless in her capacity of a self-advertised doctor, she has gained authority and trust and is a position to use this advantage. Uh, the doctor figure is a socially extrovert character, a moral guardian in contact with the, with the social conditions in general, while the character in special announcements is an esoteric, introvert character in contact with her soul. I see these two personas as part of the same body. The figure that we are meeting in special announcements is a messenger, an oracle-like individual. I am letting the character keeping its eyes closed, and I am referring to the fact that most leaders try to achieve power through eye contact and media-trained manipulation patterns. And the figure refuses eye contact because it's concentrating on a, on a higher message that it's trying to, to channel and it does not want to, uh, to see what the, this, our world is up to. Uh, my examination of character is reminiscent of character buildings in novels and other narratives. I never sample material, manipulate or use existing image or text, at least as far as I'm aware of, <laughs> and uh, using myself is a way to ensure uniqueness. Uh, if you work with language, you deal with the social material. I believe that a poetic way of thinking is a necessity for political thinking. It does not replace politics, but it can be used to shake common beliefs. Language is so connected to what we think and feel, and it's difficult to become aware of how transitional it is and how much it changes from day to day from context to context. Therefore, it's interesting to follow my artistic work in different countries with different histories. Even if the content may be relatively mundane, the accent still relates to topical questions in different contexts. Um, the fact that the background is reduced has a lot to do with the fact that my faith in words is very strong and this is something that I'm exploring for, further. Also, I don't want to really, uh, reveal a place or a time. Uh, I want to create a sort of a vacuum in the films for a couple of minutes at least and been able to take this feeling using the absurdity of it being so concentrated and serious. Um, the character is a person who cannot be reached. And the figure is placed in an empty hole, a no space, an in-between space, encapsulated. Um, I want to create a speaking photograph using the video camera as if it is a still camera with sound. And uh, I like that my work is not that easily defined. It crosses the barrier between being photography, video, performance, theater, poetry. And here is the last sequence out of the seven, which I wanted to get some help by showing. It's called Solitude, and it's also two minutes long. <laughs> 